Hello everyone, Gucci Vivian here, and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. And I know I don't really uh, do too many videos on this game uh, that often, but I do like to try to cover some of the bigger issues plaguing the hollow table. I just realized I have stuff playing through my TV instead of my headphones, but it's okay, whatever. Anyways, so what I want to talk about today, and it's really more of a question that kind of uh it's it's kind of broad in scope i guess uh this this question and that question is has revan in essence is, is he ruining the game and i'm not talking about like he's he's too broken um he's he's just so good that uh, the game is just unplayable at this point. And don't get me wrong, Jedi Knight Revan is beyond bonkers. Um, and I've, I'm not high enough in the arena to face anyone who may or may not be using Darth Revan, so I wouldn't know if Darth Revan is broken or not. But, the thing that kind of makes Revan, um, well, a bad guy in this situation is, is kind of the business practices behind his release and then kind of the aftermath of his release. So we've had so let's let's go look at the uh, old republic characters real quick. Uh just to kind of give us a little bit of um context. So in order to get Darth Revan, all right? You need Kander Sordo, Karthanasi, Jahani, and uh, she's not on here, but you also need uh, Bastila Fallen and HK-47. Um, what tags does she have with HK that would be... Is it... it I, I think it's some sort of Revan relevant tag. If my game... I, I don't know uh, if... Blue, I think Blue Stacks is just not cooperating with Galaxy of Heroes lately. So, <laughs> please excuse the very slow uh, Sith Empire. Okay, so let's let's go here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you need HK, Basila, uh, Karth, Candrus, and Jahani in order to get our good old friend Darth Revan. Now, they release those characters pretty. Pretty soon after they release the other batch of Old Republic characters, uh, those being Mission, uh, Zalbar, T3 and 4, Basila, and Jolie Bendo. And a lot of people kind of speculated that these characters were going to be used uh, to farm, or they were going to be used in some sort of event for Darth Revan, Especially since uh, I think a lot of people were gearing up for Jedi Knight Revan. Um, and it was even more so, um, I guess, speculated that Darth Revan would come soon after. So that's why people kind of gravitated towards farming uh, those characters. So I'm going to jump into this raid here real quick so I can just have something going on. But, um, so... A lot of people, since they were prepared for this, a lot of people probably had, um, probably had Darth Revan than Capital Games really wanted them to. So we could, if I'm sure there's numbers out there to check and see, like what the percentage of people who, uh, the percentage of all players who got Darth Revan is, and I imagine it would be considerably higher than. Um, I'm just going to put this on auto, so we'll, we'll lose quick. And I would imagine it would be considerably less than, or let's see, uh, who got Darth Revan would be considerably more than, um, why are they just like, why can't you just attack some lightsaber? I think that was just a counterattack anyways. Anyways, it's considerably more than what people got uh, Jedi Knight Revan. And so, like I said, I don't think Capital Games was really all for that. 
I think they wanted to kind of get a little bit more money out of people. Dear goodness, we died so fast. Uh, and so they ended up adding a new piece of gear into the game, which was an uproar of itself. Um, and it was pretty much Revan specific for right now. And they'll probably add it to more characters. But the thing with this, with this new piece of gear is they're, um, as of, at least to my knowledge, there is no place to farm this piece of gear. So basically the only way to gear up Revan to a reasonable gear level was to pay money to get that gear. And I don't think that sat well with a lot of people and, and for good reason, you know, that I, I wouldn't want to pay for a piece of gear for a character <laughs> in a digital video game, um, that it's kind of, it was kind of like to spite and to slow down the growth of players in general. And the biggest, the, the biggest kind of, uh, nail in the coffin that, uh, kind of shows the aftermath of Darth Revan is, um, our hard no battles. So we've all been happy go lucky. We've had we've had uh, eight battles on our hard notes for quite a while now. Uh, I would say even close to half a year, if not more. We've had the uh, ability to farm hard notes for eight battles a day, but. Now, all of a sudden, Capital Games is wanting to take that away from us, and they're wanting to bump it back down to the five it was previously, which really sucks because hard node farms are already difficult enough, and they're already time-consuming, that uh, taking away those three extra battles is going to hurt in the long run. Uh, if, if they maybe offset... Like, if they increase the drop rates of the shards, it would probably offset it, offset it a little bit, but they're not going to do that. Uh, I I really don't expect them to do anything. Um, and I know they kind, of, they kind of, like, wrote in this contingency plan of sorts uh, in order to cover their butts. But uh, they did say that the uh, eight battles was for a limited time. But... Uh, it's been around for so long, you figured it was probably going to stick around for a, a while, if not become the permanent solution. But now Capital Games wants to take it from us. And I, I honestly and wholeheartedly believe that it's because when they want to release new characters that require farming, they don't want a lot of the free-to-play players to get those characters the first go-around which is really kind of a slap in the face to us us players who don't have the means to uh, dump money into this game. And I, I've said time and time again, I know this is business, I understand it, but you also need to accommodate the free-to-play market pretty much and make sure that those players are happy too because you want to try to convert, uh, you want to try to convert your uh, free-to-play players into paying players and by doing that you have to maintain the free-to-play players playing your game if the free-to-play players stop playing your game you are losing potential customers in the future and really uh, if, if you have a wider player base you have more word of mouth so if you have free-to-play players they can try to uh, get their friends to come into this game who could be more potential customers down the line. So why you want to strict restrict and take away these uh, avenues for free-to-play players to play your game effectively is beyond me. And uh, I've I've kind of gotten away from all this uh, like meta chasing because ever ever since um I have not been able to like keep up with the meta ever since the dodge meta with Count Dooku was a thing. And maybe to a lesser extent, the Darth Maul Zeta meta. Um, I, I haven't really been relevant in an arena for years at this point. And I'm okay with that because 
at this point, uh, there's so much collusion in the arena, it's not really worth it to me. And I'm not a big fan of PvP games anyways. Uh, I just like to collect, and this is the kind of game I love to do, just like collecting stuff and upgrading stuff. I just love upgrading and collecting, so that's why, that's why I play this game daily, and I, I enjoy it as much as I do. But... For there's there's a good portion of people who have been able to stay competitive and be free to play, but now you are skewing the game to a more pay almost to a pay to win aspect, especially if these new characters that uh, you're going to release in the future are going to be as meta defining as Jedi Knight Revan has been. Um, that's that's just where it kind of. It doesn't really sit well with a lot of people, and hopefully, uh, with as much outrage as what I've heard is going on on the internet, um, hopefully they will kind of go back on all of this and be like, yeah, you know, it's kind of scummy, uh, we're sorry, and they'll accommodate us in some way, either just keep keep the eight battles, or like I said, an, an, a good way to offset it is to even increase the drop rates on the shards. Um, you don't even have to increase it, like, tremendously. Just enough to notice a difference. But uh, you could still, like, skew it in your favor so it's not as much as having uh, eight attempts would be. Um, so, because, I mean, when, when you have eight attempts at, uh, like, a 10% chance, you have eight chances to roll 10% uh, as opposed to five chances to roll 10%. Um, I know it's not like 80%, 80, well, it might be 80% 80, 80 to get something in the, I don't know, that's more math than I want to do in my head, um, and I don't want to do it wrong, so, I don't know, uh, I, I just keep going back to, like, you, you, you have to accommodate the free-to-play players, you know, because I, I know they're not sinking money into the game right now, but you want to try to convert them. You don't want them to go away. You want them to stay playing. Because uh, while the the paying players do keep the game alive financially, um, the free-to-play players will help keep the game alive in the long run. Uh, just because having a large player base makes the game more appealing to players coming in. And uh, you can actually have... Uh, a little bit of word of mouth. I'm I'm being redundant and I'm rambling and repeating myself. So I think this is a good place to go ahead and uh, stop it here. I think I've said everything I wanted to say. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you want? I mean, <laughs> what what do you want them to do? In like, do you want them to re just keep the eight battles? Uh, would you rather them have something else? Uh, like maybe raise the drop rates. What do you, what do you think on this whole like um, it almost it almost seems like it's a war on free to play. Uh, but like I said, just let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.